Residents in the Trillium subdivision of Spring Hill still trying to come to terms with an unthinkable crime. One of their neighbors accused of killing his children as they slept before taking his own life. Our John Thomas has been following this story for us all day and joins us live with the latest. John. You know, when you go door to door and you're knocking on those doors trying to talk to neighbors and ask them about the family that lived here and they burst out crying and they don't want to go on camera, you really understand how disturbing this story is. This is where it happened, the home behind me, 975 there. You can see the Halloween decorations outside, really unsettling. A father kills his two kids inside that home, then turns the gun on himself. I spoke to a close personal friend of the family. He just can't believe it. Danny killed himself and, and took my, my, my kids with him. A text message to Jose Guerrero from a mother after she learned her two kids were just killed by their father. Oh, I had no idea what was going through his head. It was here at this home on Notting Shave Drive in Spring Hill that Hernando County deputies discovered the two kids after their mother called them for a welfare check on Sunday. We did find uh, both children uh, deceased. Seven-year-old Sebastian and eight-year-old Susanna shot while they slept by, according to investigators, their 39-year-old father, Danielle Castrion, who then killed himself. We didn't have anybody else, just us. For the Guerreros, family friends for the last year, it's hard to fathom. Francia Guerrero would talk about Susanna, found in bed next to her father. She looks just like her mom. She was beautiful. The Guerreros would tell us they knew their friends were having marital problems and had just separated a month ago. The sheriff would confirm the mother, Luz Jimenez, had filed for divorce on October 12th, but the two were still communicating and splitting time with the kids. But last Friday, Daniel confronted his wife at work. Apparently it got a little heated, but uh, he did calm down and took the children for the weekend. Jose may have been the last person to communicate with Daniel. I texted him at night and asked him, you know, if he was doing okay, how was he doing? And he said, tranquilo, meaning I'm, I'm fine. Tragically, we now know that is not true, leaving his friend Jose to ask himself how he could have missed the signs. Knowing him, uh, I can maybe I didn't know him. Take a look at the back of the SUV there parked in the driveway. That picture there, a mother, a father, and two kids really haunting knowing what's happened in that home. The sheriff's office did say they found a note inside the home. They did not say exactly what was on that note, but they did say it indicated that dad was responsible. In Spring Hill, John Thomas, ABC Action News. Back to you.